Our next destination is Ningxia, one of the five autonomous provinces in China. Yinchuan, the Ningxia capital, has 2,000 years of history. It is from here that Shi Huang Ti, the famous Chinese emperor, began the construction of the Great Wall of China. Ningxia province has an area of 66,000 square kilometers and a population of more than 5 million, the majority of whom are Muslims. Islam is said to have been introduced here in the 7th century by Western Asia's merchants, blacksmiths and scholars. When Islam began to flourish in Ningxia a long time ago, it had thousands of mosques. However, today there are less than 3,000 left. We begin our visit in this province at the Ziguan Mosque, one of the 132 mosques still left in Yinchuan city. The mosque is situated in the middle of a residential area of Muslim Hui's. The mosque was built in 1996 on the old site of a 300-year-old mosque. To our surprise, the local Muslims arranged a warm welcome for us headed by Haji Habibullah, the mosque's imam. We were touched by the courtesy shown by our brothers in Islam that we had just met. Judging from the environment, we knew that the Muslims here were firm in their religion even after 1,300 years since Islam first came here. Shikwan Mosque is the symbol of strength for the Muslims here, who live in harmony with the non-Muslims. Nearly every mosque in the Ninzia province, especially in Yanchuan, organizes religious classes or madrasa to cater for the Islamic education needs of the 1.6 million Muslims. The Shiguan Mosque also provides hostels for students from rural areas. Islam greatly encourages its believers to seek knowledge. Not only younger students, but older students and those already with families are also welcome to enrol here. During this visit, we were privileged to meet 20 students who are staying at the hostel. According to them, they will have to finish a three-year full-time course before they can graduate. Currently, there are 6,000 students in the whole of Ningxia province. Upon completing the course, they will become Ahung. Ahung is the Chinese expression for imam, or religious teacher and leader. Islamic studies are taught at an adjacent block. After congressional prayers, some of these classes are also held for other members of the public. The classes are conducted in the local Chinese dialect by an experienced teacher. 
Recently, two of the graduates here were sent to further their education at the International Islamic University in Malaysia. The locals also hope more of them will be able to perform the pilgrimage to Mecca. Since 1985, about 1,600 of them have performed the Hajj. According to the Imam, it was once almost impossible for the Muslims in Ninja to go to Mecca due to economic reasons. He says with the improvement of the economy recently, more Muslims are able to perform the Hajj. And last year, 200 people went. To be able to go to Mecca, each pilgrim needs about 23,000 yuan, or the equivalent to 3,000 US dollars. This is a big sum, especially to small traders and farmers. Imam Haji Habibullah thinks the enthusiasm among the Muslims here to perform the Hajj is increasing. 1,000 more will perform the Hajj next year, he says. Everybody is striving to improve themselves economically so that one day the call for the Hajj can be answered. Many have started small businesses in order to get extra income. At last, our journey here came to an end. With heavy hearts, we had to leave the Xinjiang Mosque. Ninja, which is located in the northern part of China, used to be the poorest province. Several years ago, modern farming was introduced. Since then, the farm produce has doubled. Ninja was declared as the autonomous region for the Muslim Hui community. Here we met Ma Weiren, a 48-year-old Hui farmer who lives in Ta Chiao. It is estimated that half the 20 million Muslims in China are the Huis, and they mostly live in Ningxia. The Hui are Chinese Muslims, while the Han are non-Muslim Chinese. The Huis and the Hans share the same language and culture, except for those not in agreement with Islamic teaching. It is difficult to differentiate between a Hui and a Han. Thus, the Hui put a Ma in front of their names to show that they are Muslims. Ma refers to the Prophet Muhammad. Ma Wairen plants rice and vegetables. With the existence of systematic irrigation, he is able to work on his land the whole year through. Farming and rearing livestock are the traditional activities of the Huis in Ninja. To maximize the land usage, the people here build fish ponds and greenhouses. Ta Chao Village is a resettlement project of the Chinese government. To
Today, the livelihood of the farmers here is much better when compared to just a few years ago. Although their standard of living has improved, they are still firm in their traditions and beliefs. The houses here were built with a government subsidy. Ma Wei Ren's home is a comfortable two-bedroomed house with a lounge, a dining area and a kitchen. Although he is not rich, Ma Wei Ren is positive that he will be able to improve his family's life if he perseveres and always remembers Allah. For him and his family, faith is their strongest asset. Ninja province is poor no longer. There are no more clay house dwellers. Several projects are being implemented to secure the future of the farmers here. From Tachao, we continued our journey to Sha Pao Tau, which is located 120 kilometers to the south of Yinchuan. Even though it is the rural sector of Ningjia, Sha Pao Tau is very popular with the locals and tourists alike. This is the only place in the world where tourists can journey the Yellow River on a raft made of sheep's hide. Just believe that the sheep's hide raft can only be found in Sha Pao Tao. It is a traditional transportation to cross the Yellow River. It is still widely used there as there is no bridge crossing the river. Since 1984, the rafts are used extensively as tourist attractions. It has given the boost to the economy of the locals. Without the sheep's hide rafts, one wonders if visitors will come to this remote part of China. And without the rafts, we wouldn't be able to explore the colorful lives of rural Ningxia. Manning the raft along the Yellow River requires expertise. Each raft can seat four adults. It needs the hide of 10 to 15 sheep for it to keep afloat. According to locals, they can only build two rafts a month as the process is tedious and difficult. Selected hide is treated with chemicals then dried for a few days. Our next destination is Yongning, 20 kilometers south of Yinchuan. Here stands the Najiahu Mosque. Built in 1524, the mosque is still in excellent condition. This five-century-year-old mosque was built using the traditional Chinese architecture combined with a unique local calligraphy. Blue symbolizes harmony, green symbolizes peace, and white symbolizes purity. Close ties with nature among the Muslims here is reflected in their carvings of flower motifs in many parts of the mosque. Here we get the chance to meet Muhammad Ismail Majen, the 81-year-old Imam. He has been the Imam here for the last 40 years. 
He also teaches the interpretation of the Quran. Hundreds of years have passed. Nevertheless, Islam remains strong in Ningxia. Najiahu Mosque is always open to visitors who wish to get to know the local Muslims better. The mosque can accommodate around a thousand worshippers at any one time. Its interior is simple. It is like any other traditional Chinese mosque, which utilizes wood for its pillars, floor, wall and ceiling. Arabic calligraphy, based on the Quran, is blended with attractive carvings. This decorative style has existed since the early days of Islam in China. Like the art of Arabic calligraphy, the Islamic education system, or the madrasa, remains solid to ensure the survival of Islam in China. Asia's merchants, blacksmiths and scholars. When Islam began to flourish in Ningxia a long time ago, it had thousands of mosques. However, today there are less than 3,000 left. We begin our visit in this province at the Ziguan Mosque, one of the 132 mosques still left in Yinchuan City. The mosque is situated in the middle of a residential Shi Huang Ti, the famous Chinese emperor began the construction of the Great Wall of China. Ningxia province has an area of 66,000 square kilometers and a population of more than 5 million, the majority of whom are Muslims. Islam is said to have been introduced here in the 7th century by Western area of Muslim Hawis. The mosque was built in 1996 on the old site of a 300-year-old mosque. To our surprise, the local Muslims arranged a warm welcome for us, headed by Haji Habibullah, the mosque's imam. We were touched by the courtesy shown by our brothers in Islam that we had just met. Our next destination is Ningxia, one of the five autonomous provinces in China.
Yinchuan, the Ningxia capital, has 2,000 years of history. It is from here that